Now I, I will show you guys how to install a CD drive. Most cases they come with um, an opening here. Some you have to actually tap it out. Others you have to screw screw it loose. Once you remove what's block the um, plate that's normally there, you can just simply insert your drive. I recommend that you install the drives first because on some cases um, unlike this one if you push it in it goes in smoothly and you can actually push it in too far and if you push it in too far it can actually fall back and let's say you have your motherboard installed already it may break something like your motherboard if it is installed after you slide it in you just screw it in and that's it oh and those wondering what this is this is the Kingston Capex 100. We reviewed it already. Y'all, y'all can check out the link on the site. It should be up somewhere. Now I will show you how to install a hard drive. Um, most cases you install the hard drive from the inside of the case. You just slide it in, similar to what you would do with a CD drive. But on high-end cases like the Antec 900, you have a drive bay. Most of the time you still would have to install it from the inside but with this case the drive bay slides out and it has room for three bays you actually have two drive bays with this case there's another one on the bottom I already have one hard drive in and I'll show you how it's installed right in the middle if you were to put another drive in let me get a better camera angle here you were to put another hard drive in you would remove this here and just slide it into place once I remove the black plastic piece here which is um, there to add a, an additional fan if you wanted to um, you just slide the drive in to get slided in the top one or the bottom one and that's it all you have to do next is screw the drive into place through these holes with some screws and you're set you just slide it back into the case